Christ is uh, the author or the heart of the mission. He was the one who did it. He was the one who commanded it about mission, mga kaigsunan. Mm. Nabasa na to ang John 4 as our text for the theme of the heart of mission. Verse 34 down to 36. The Bible says, Jesus says unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, Let up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth, receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both reapeth may rejoice together. Ang Diyos mag-apalalangin, siyang pulong tingbasa, mag-apot na sa ulo, mag-apot na sa Father God in heaven, we acknowledge your presence this afternoon as we know and we admit that we are all nothing, Lord, without you. Mm-hmm. Bless us this afternoon. Bless your, your church in this place. You are a great God. You are a powerful God that all human beings will confess will will confess that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior mm. that all human beings will bow down their knees before you that you are the power a powerful God who created the heavens and the earth and you are worthy of our worship you are worthy of our praises this afternoon Lord help us and open our hearts and our minds so that whatever the message of your uh, word, Lord, that we can hear today, it will find place to our lives and we will use it in our daily living. Mm. Bless also your speakers. Watch your words, Lord, upon the mouth of your speaker so that uh, whatever things you want, them, uh, you want to tell them, Lord, it will happen today. It will happen this afternoon. This all I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. The heart of mission. Usman ko, ingon pa rin itong uh, sa usang kapanulti yun nga uh, God doesn't call or God doesn't call the equip. He equips the call. Mm. Wala gitawag sa ginoo ang equip. May laki na. Uyaw na. Wala na gitawag sa ginoo. Bisan pagalik na kuno na siya maing laki siya din kalibutan usa siya ka kuyaw nga tawo sa kalibutan if he want to follow the lord equip ga pun siya sa Ginoo look at Paul look at apostle Paul Paul is a lawyer but when he followed Jesus when he obeyed the lord Jesus Christ God used Barnabas to disciple Paul Paul was a disciple of Barnabas so God doesn't calls the equip he equips the call Mm. The call. Wala niya gitawag tong kan. Na pastor di na ko mahimo ang pagsul winning. Dili ko kaya pastor nga mag Bible study. Dili ko kaya pastor nga magtudlo sa Ginoo. But you know what? If you want to follow Jesus, if you want to be used by God, you will be equipped by God. Amen? Right. When Moses says, dili na ko kaya mga tubang sari. Who am I to face on the king? Who am I to speak that thing? to the king. Mm. So that, that's the words of Moses. And then ngun sa ginagawa ng Moses, Moses, kinsa ba ang naga naga hatag o bakba sa tao? Diba? Kinsa ba bisan ang tingog ganas tao? Kinsa ba ang naghatag ana? It is God. It is the Lord. It is the creator of the heavens and earth. Go! Ngun ngun sa ginagawa ng Moses, go! Face to the king. Tell them, let my people go. Let my people go out from Egypt and go to the promised land, mga kaigsunan. Sumunin siya ang ang, ang kwan sa Ginoo. Now, in chapter 4, Jesus says, ngayon nga niya, his meat, his meat is the mission. His meat is to do the will of the Father. Now, what is your food? Iwali na ito na ito ngayon, no? Mm. Na, ang, ang pa, para sa Ginoo, kang Ginoong Isos, ang iyang pagkaon, ah, ang mission, mura nagpagkaon sa iya, Oh, di mo takagwantag, di mo kaon. No? 
So food is very important. Now look at Jesus. He compared mission as meat. He compared mission as meat. <laughs> ang 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 mission ni Jesus Christ is to do. Ang meat ni Jesus Christ is to do the will of Him that sent me, or to do the will of the Father. Now, for our topic this afternoon, atong topic karon is the challenge of the harvest field. Mm. The challenge of the harvest field. Ang hagit sa sa uma, no? What is our harvest field? The world, the people, tama? Kinsa may atong uma? Kinsa may atong suginlan? Kinsa man atong ugmaron? Kinsa man atong suntian, duulon, bisitahan, Bible studyan? The people of the world. Right? Amen. No. Nay challenge ang harvest field. Let us read Matthew chapter 9 verse 35 down to 38. Ako pas pasak basa. Eh, dapat ay lain na po nga activity after this, no? Matur po darito sa gym. Para sa uh, tuwa na po nga religious night. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then saith he and his disciples, The harvest roll is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore of the Lord of the harvest that will he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Now, what is the challenge of the harvest? Point number one. Express your compassion. Express your compassion. Nagapanghagit ang harvest milk. Nagapanghagit ang mga lost sinners. Ang mga tao nga nag-ung-ung na dito sa kalaglaga, nagapanghagit sila. Mura na sila ka nang naglakaw nga panulong dito sa inferno nga kinanglan siya stop sign. And what is the stop sign? <coughs> the stop sign is all about the gospel. Kumbaga, wingon karon ang gospel stop. I will tell you, nga dili ka malargo dito sa imperno. I will tell you how to, how to skip from hell. So that's the gospel. That's the word of the gospel. And you will be the one to be used by God. Mm. Amen? No. the question here is, did you express your compassion? Or do you express your compassion for the loss? It is the challenge. You know what is challenge? Gihagit ka. Anong mga loss leaders? They are walking. They are walking to, to hell. They are walking to hell. They are walking to destruction for the punishment of their souls forever and ever. Dito sa Emperor mga Kaisura. And nahimu ba kang kuhan? Stop sign? Nahimu ba kang stop sign? Did you express do you express or did you express your compassion to that person na panulong dito sa kalaglagan may kahunong sa suntian di ka unsaon na dili ka paanto dito sa kalaglagan o paanto ka dito sa kalangitan this is the challenge of God to you to give them a sign Amen use the gospel, tell them tell them how to escape from hell and to go to heaven no in verse 36, tinay na mo makita. When he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them. He was moved with compassion on them. Di ba na magay time nga, maluoy ta ka ng, di, di lip sa impirno ha? Nang tao gani nga, tiguan ka ro, nagpasa ng pirting kukata niya. Butan na to, pasa ng kantine, pinmiro niyang kunat, tumbang tigulang. Kaduang kunat, bago na pong tigulang, kamang-kamang, kunat na po, tumba na po. What do you feel on it? Or what will you feel? Maluoy ka. Maluoy si Gulang. Di ba ito? Kaluoy si Gulang. Si Kaumut. Kaluoy si Gulang. Si Kaumut. Kaluoy. Pero katumbo tama. Kami sila lang ang kaluoy. Pero, nagatuo ko, nagatuo ko, 
nga kung naay ang anak nga tinguang nga magsigig ka umot, magsigig ka umot sa iyang pag-alsa sa mong container na kakaroon, o sa iyang iyong ipasan, batiyon yung kagaloy. Mm. Tama? Batiyon yung kagaloy. No. This is the same. This is, kung yung gusto ni Jesus na, this is feelings. We need so the multitudes. We need so the multitudes. We need so the lost sinners. They are going to hell. They are going to hell. And God needs you to tell them, to, to make a stop sign. Stop! Listen! I will tell you how to escape from hell. Mm. You will be God's notes. You will be God's instrument to be a stop sign. Tell them. Show your compassion. Express. You know what is express? Ipakita kung imo. Ipakita ni mo ang imong kalukoy. Ang pulong express, ipakita ba? Imo yung i... Karam ko yung kakaroon nga kalukoy sa puta, mahulog na sa kanal. Huwag pa mga nag-express na nga. Nagsulti pa man ka. O, mahulog yun na rung buta, bas bangag ba? Huwag yun kayo malo, mahulog na yun. Tanawa, nahulog yung kalukoy sa puta. Napuro sila lang kakalukoy. Express! Ito lang nagsikal sa tigulang niya, nagsikaw mo sa iba ito niyo. It's either imong duugan, o kung may ka, ako nila idalaan nilo. That's expression of compassion. So, this is the same feelings na gusto ipakita ni Jesus, ngayon niya, I went, kumbaga, maraging natin ni Jesus. You know, I went to the villages, I went to the cities, I went to the synagogues for one purpose. My purpose is to preach the gospel. To make them a stop sign na dili sila muato dito sa imperno. Nana ang panesos. Punto number two. Express your compassion. Number two is akong tanawag na ako ang outline. Nani dito sa ako ang laptop jing jing. Wala naman ito ko ano. Enjoy your calling. Enjoy your calling. If God calls you, kung baga, Apares ka ron. God, I believe that God calls James. Amen. Called James. He called Christian. He called Carl John. He called all of us. Amen. God called us from darkness into His marvelous light. Amen. Who we are before? We are living in darkness. Who we are before? We are all sinners. We are a people having no hope. Amen. Tanaw na to ang pan. Tanaw na to ang Sikan Peter chapter two. Open your Bible in this book. Let us read it quickly. Tung kano ng uras? Ang minimais ng uras. Sikan Peter chapter two, verse nine. But ye are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people. That you should show first the praises of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Yung kana who we are before? Ako siguro kung magtanaw ko, yung ko katung tao nga. Darang tau tauro wa yun. San gamay wa yun ba? But if God is in you, it is the Lord. Na irisbito. It is the Lord who is in you nga tagad pagtagad it is the Lord nga naa sa imuha nga ma ma hayagan sila ug malipay sila nga magtan-aw sab sa imong kinabuhi. Amen. You are a royal priesthood. Mm. Ano ka royal priesthood? Sa Old Testament you know what is royal family? Royal family mo ning mga halangdon kay nga tao. Mga honorable. Honorable. Mga honorable nga mga tao. Mau nang mga royal family, gikan sa hari, sa mga prince, mga princess, mau nak sila nang mga tau royal family. Karon ikau, kita wad ka sa ginoo, from darkness into the marv into his marvelous light, you are now a royal prison, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Mau nak ang pagtan aw sa ginoo sa imong kinabu. Enjoy your calling. When you go out. Telling the people about the gospel, making a stop sign, enjoy it. Enjoy mo lang nang i-enjoy. Happy lang, walang hinding. Amen? Ganit, inukod nga happy walang hinding. Gano ba? Your deeds on earth will go throughout eternity. 
Diri sa kalibutan ni Mugisugdan. Pero hangto dito sa Eternidad, magpabili na siya. Muna itinood niya, wala inding. Enjoy your calling. Lord, thank you for calling me. Thank you, Lord, for teaching me that I should also teach others. Thank you, Lord, for making me your disciples, for making me your follower. You should thank to the Lord. You should enjoy your calling. Amen? Enjoy your calling. Enjoy your calling. Let us read 1 Corinthians. Sometimes, the world when uh, the, the view of the world about God's calling murag way pulos ini karon naglingkod na rin hapnanta ang kalibutan na nila usa na sila murag ah nay ka himo murag unsay pulos ana ilang gibuhat na naglingkod tapog mo that's the words man eyes magtan-aw sila murag way pulos but in the sight of God it is a blessing amen it is a blessing in the sight of God let us read 1 Corinthians chapter 1 Verse 25. Sublan akong 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. Hello? Mm. Ang kabuangan daw sa kalibutan, no? Ay, ang, ang kabuangan na biyak daw sa ginoo, malamo ni siya ngayon sa mga tao. Huh? Huh? murag mo mo gwe kapuslanan why why kanang mahimo pero para sa ginoo dakog kahimuan ako sa ipa dayon ato isa og explain for you see your calling you see your calling brethren how that not many how that not many wise men after the flesh klaro nya not many wise men after the flesh not many mighty not many noble are called hello Dili daw daghan nga gitawag nga malamon nga tawo sa yutanon nga kalam yutanon kalam nga gitawag Dili daw daghan pod nga mga tawo nga mga kusgan mga tawo nga inila ang gitawag na amay mga tawo inila nga gitawag like Paul mm. like Luke mm. amen kuyo man na sila nga tawo like Moses Moses is a prince Moses is so bright. Pero gisugod yung gino, ng brasong gabon, nga di daw niya kaya. Di kaya nga, he was a prince. He lived in Egypt for 40 years. He was educated. In Egypt. He knows how stupid Egyptian. That's Moses. Pero ang tao, maghimog excuses, maka-excuse niyo. Amen? Amen. Simbat ako dito ba, ulan man. Excuse me, sure, but you can't. If you make an excuse, I'm sure. I'm like, get Kusimba, I'm a good excuse, man. What may what may bundle? Ah, huh? You're a man. 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 40 years yang nagpuyo sa Egypt. Very educated si Moses in Egyptian one language. Si Moses. He can do that and he was once a prince in Egypt. He was once a prince. Pero naghimo gapog excuse. No, God calls you now. God calls you now. Even if you see yourself, ah, I have also a vocation. I know also how I am also a good man. I am so, that's good. That's good. Maybe you are just like Paul. Maybe you are just like Moses. Nga naagoy kahibaludaan sa kalibutan. But for those who are also uh, nga gitanaw sa kalibutan nga medyo huyang o gina, just continue to serve God. Enjoy your calling. Because it is the Lord that will equip you. Amen? Enjoy your calling. Yung ka, Pastor, mag-memory verse. Gima ka, memory verse. May lagnak ko isa. Okay lang. <laughs> Kaya sa kadugaya ni mong nag-memorize, naan na yung kayo memorize ana? Kaya ng iyong book, o kaya ng iyong chapter o verse. Bala na ng ulun. Ito. Bala na ng ulun. At least yung ka, Romans 323. O, ako lang, abihan. Amen. Amen. Romans 623. Ato, ako lang, abihan. 
Wala, garang memorize memorize. Tabang menggapu nak. Apa gapu nak? Tidak mungkin kita memorize nama main yang Bible. Apa yang oi bawal Bible? Cikis siriko, ayo pakai Bible. Apa yang mana nak? Iman? Tidak dia bukan pakai ukir pun pun. Kini bayang magwali kan lebih nak dah yang kita lihat surkai mesti kapli kapli. Masul, ba? Tidak ibu ang memorize on. Ada langkah mau kapli kapli dalam tentang penasihat Bible. Iman? Tidak gusuk kan? Nah, di atas Bible dulu. Kena gitu. Iman? So enjoy your calling. Iman? Enjoy your calling. Express your compassion. Enjoy your calling. And last is establish your counsel. You know what is counsel? Counsel, one of the full definitions of Miriam, what's that? A policy or plan of action or behavior. Sabi ko, one of the full definition in Miriam, what's that? Counsel, na counsel, C O U N S E L. Counsel, advice mana? Kada ko legal counsel, may nara, no. One of the full definition is a policy or plan of action, plan of action or behavior. Ibung batasan, plan of action. Hello. Pag inun dere sa Bible, pag inun tag plan of action, when God told you to be His servants, to be His ministers, to be His children, nagimo ka, you you do a prayer, right? Nagampok ka, Lord, I want you to use my life. I want to do more for your glory. You pray for that. I want also to to know how to win souls. I want also, Lord, that somebody will come to you, will come to church, because of me as your instrument, nga nagsulti sa ilaha. So that is a prayer. Amen. Dayon ang ikaduwa sa After the prayer is go, go. Dili kay ang imong action, ang imong plano. Ano ka na plano ka? Unya ang imong action di tura kas prayer. Wala man ang kon ang ginonga. Prayin yung mga lost sinners. Prayin yung kan. Pagdi mo kon ano? Prayin mo pero unsa unsa mo pagkuan anan niya? Magpray ra ka permis mo balay? Magpray ra ka permis sa yung simbahan? Go out and proclaim. Muning na imuto ang Bible school. Enter to learn. Go out to proclaim. Kalo ba na ang imuto? Enter to learn. Go out to proclaim. Pag sulod ninyo das Bible school, dapat nagi mo'y learning. Sa PNPA. Kapalo mo ko sa imuto sa PNPA? You know what is the motto of PNPA? Wala. Wala mo kapalo kayo. Di man mo kapalo. Di man mo mga kadet. Hahaha, bagus tadi tu. PNP is ah to learn today, to live tomorrow. To learn today, to live to live tomorrow. That is the motto of the PNP. Kadit. Nah, jurna seilang kuan, seilang akademi. Nada mat, ada apa? Sulut sila bata, pagawas anak nila official. Kita ilang tulu anit tulu ngan tiga bulan mereka di tuna mengah hari-hari nanti tu. Nada mat, nak official sila for four years. At the age of 21, that's 23, official naman sila. Tama na, ilang kwan mo. To learn today, to lead tomorrow. Doon ka ron, pero may mong kang mag-leader sa pagkaupa. Pag-graduate ni mo. So ang kita, di matapin ni Kadet, we are all seminarians. May tawagod ng kapat na seminarians. But we are all Bible students, student of the Bible, enter to learn. Go out to Proclaim. Now, when say kana to dana tanaw na to establish your council. Pulong establish likuna, likuna ang imong plano, likuna ang imong ughan aya ang imong pamatasan atubangan sa gino. Unsa bay ang ang batasan sa usak alaga sa Dios atubangan sa gino sa Dios mismo. Unsa bay batasan sa usak anak sa gino atubangan sa ubang mga katawan. Amen. Christian is the best model of good works. So, Mara, you are all a model. Kisah kau semua yang mengmodel. Amen. Dilek musik one. 
Dili mo si Sara. Si Shamsi Sus. Venus. Venus Ra. Venus Ra. Oksibo. Venus. Radi ai. Venus Ra. Sa mga bisa ka dong ba jud? Shamsi Supsuk. Pia. Pia. Sa Crabber. Pero model tandaan. Amen. Model. When you receive Jesus, when you accept Jesus, you are God's model. Now, what you are modeling? You are not a model of shampoo, but you are a model of good works. Modelo mo sa maayong binuhatan. Ang Kristiano dili mo malikas. Ang Kristiano dili mo nugal. Ang Kristiano dili mo manigarilyo. Dili mo ino. Ko imagine niyo ba? Ako pastor niya. May kumaha kayo sunan. At huwag tunan ka rin ng pulog sa ginoo. Mamino, pamula. Pero na-Christian nga, na-Christian ko no. Grabe mo dibate. Nga, magbasa o Bible, nag-gunit o sigarilyo. Kami tapicturan ba niya? Ano nga, unsa yung kaya ng nanay? Ito. Joke na lang. You are model. Of good works, you are God's model. Khusus lagi dong makita tanya nga, maayu tas yang atubangan. Khusus lagi dong ngamai mukang buutan yang atubangan. Because when you go out and proclaim the gospel, the people will believe in you. Amen. Asa may masayun tuhuan. Karena nak sunte, ngamai nga. Penawi lang, puk sunda lang aku sunte. Alang ni sunda aku buat. Ya berada, kan? Oh, maning kingon jud sa Biblia, brad. Nya lang di ta musunod ani. Oh. Imagine ni nyo asa may mutuan ana. Mas duan. Kana siya nga inana yang ginay mo. O ikaw nga nagkinabuhi nga maayo or nagkinabuhi nga usa ka tao nga buutan at tubangan sa Ginoo because God made you good. Iba kato ikaw nga naghibog maayo. Right? Stop this your counsel. Make a policy. What is policy? Lord, for a week, for a week, I will go out once a day. Or, bisan ka isa ka bisis, Lord, sa isa ka simana, mula ka ako, Lord, mag-witness ko, diri lang ko sa ako ang hardest bed. Amen? Nakaw. Bisan ko, hindi ba, wala man eh, nag-ingon nga, naghanon na yun ni mo. Pangita sa ka ng prospect honey ba? Prospect honey nga, nindot ni mo, Ugsakuan pa na, kana ka rin mga lampinig, hindi mo na pataka na silang palay. Kita na silang lindot mo nila palayan, hindi mo sa ilang mag-ibot sila dito ng honey, di ba? So, kita ka balay na na, asa, hindi mo ka makabayusadi, makashare sa gospel, hindi mo na katubo. Amen? Amen. So, stop less your concept. Una, express your compassion. This is the challenge. This is the challenge of the harvest mill. The harvest mill challenge you, express your compassion. Enjoy your calling and establish your concept. Let's pray. Lord, salamat kay sumu pulong ini sa punon. Salamat Lord, bisan pa sa imong mga katawan. Salamat ni Brad Lord ng kauban at na kauban ng mga roti. Yes. Panalangin kanila bisan pa Lord sa mga ayang people ng mga kababayan ang kauban ng bless. Magpagamayo po Lord. Tanan ni Lord sa pagsama mga kaisuna na mo kung magkakitin ang karon niya din ni panalangin ni sila kido sa Tanan yung mata ng pagpanalangin. Mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.